Today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to create sticky and transparent headers using the Page Builder Framework and their premium add-ons. If this interests you, stick around and I'm going to demonstrate the entire process right now. The Page Builder Framework is a totally free and great theme for WordPress, especially if you use page builders like Elementor, Breezy, or any of those. But if you want to get the full power out of it, I'd recommend checking out the premium add-ons. The link will be in the description, so take a look and see all the great tools that are added to this great theme. Now, this video is sponsored by the Page Builder Framework, but I'm just going to give you a demonstration of these tools. There's no reviews or opinions expressed at all. Okay, so we're going to jump over, and this is the kind of thing we're going to create. You can see we've got this transparent header at the top, our navigation at the right, we've got a logo at the left-hand side. If I scroll down, you can see it animates in and gives us a completely different menu. We now get a white background with a black logo and the navigation over the right-hand side again, with a semi-transparent background so we can see whatever's behind. Now this is very, very easy and I'll demonstrate that right now. So I've jumped over into the dashboard of WordPress and what I'm going to do is come down to the appearance section and come into customize. Now this is where we can control all the different settings and parameters that we've got for the page builder framework and the add-ons that we've got installed. So you can see at the moment we've got a simple plain black header at the top with the navigation on the right. It's not transparent. We've got the logo. If I scroll down, absolutely nothing happens. So if we want to set up, first of all, the transparent header we need to go in to the header section and you can see once you install the premium add-on pack you have some additional options one of those being sticky navigation the other being the transparent header so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the transparent header first of all so we'll click to open that up and you see this is a very very simple panel we can select the logo we can set the background color a font color and a hover color now this is just for the transparent header so you'll see if we just adjust the colors on this, so just reduce the opacity on there, we'll let it reload in the customizer, and you can see that now sets a semi-transparent background to the header. If I want to take that to full transparency, I can simply bring that right the way down, or I could clear any value that we have inside the background color, color chip. So we now have a completely transparent background. If you need to have a different logo, we can set that up by selecting the image at this point. So let's just click to select the image. We're going to choose the white logo on there to ensure that we've got the white logo on the transparent header. And then when we create the sticky navigation, we can choose a different color on there. The font color is fine for the links and everything. And if we want to change the hover color, we could change that to whatever we want. So if we want it to be green, we can click and you can see now everything changes over to green. So we've got anything that's an active link will be green and when we mouse over any of these, they're green as well. So let's just set that back to red. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back out of this now as we set all the simple things up in here. And you can see it is incredibly easy to create a transparent header. Now this is a global setting, so every page on your site will now have this applied to it. However, you can very easily override that setting on a page-by-page -page basis with the options that are part of the Page Builder Framework and installed as part of that. So we've got the basic setup. We're going to come back out of this now and we're going to come down onto the sticky navigation option. So you click on there and you can see at the moment that's disabled. So if we scroll down the page, nothing will happen. The navigation will scroll up with the page. If we enable the sticky navigation, that will open up a whole range of additional options and also enable the sticky navigation. So if we scroll up, we can see that take effect. So you can see there's a couple of things wrong with this right now. The background color is okay, but it's pretty much a solid color. We've also lost the logo. The reason being is we've got a white logo and a white background. So if we adjust the background color and we make that semi-transparent, you'll see that we'll start to see the logo. Obviously, that's not the best way of dealing with it because we now lose the navigation on the right-hand side. So we can deal with that very, very simply. We'll just put that back to become semi-transparent. And if we come up, you can see we've got the option at the top to select a different logo image. So we click on there, and this time I'll choose the dark version of my logo and select Select. We now load that in, and as you can see, if we scroll back up, we've got the light logo on the transparent header, and we scroll down and we're using the sticky navigation, we now have the dark logo version. So again, you can see it's incredibly simple to make these alterations, and if we want to, we can adjust the logo size, the menu height, and so on. We can even can configure the delay for how long it takes to show the actual navigation, the sticky navigation. So that looks pretty cool. We're going to change this hover color to red as well, so it ties in with the rest of our design. So you can see that's now changed everything on there to work exactly the same as the normal transparent header. So you can see, all very, very simple to do. 
You can change the font color if you want to. You can set that to anything you want. So instead of it being black at the moment, we could change that to blue, red, anything you want to. We then have a range of options for the animation. Now, this is the animation effect that's applied to the navigation when it actually comes into the viewpoint. So at the moment, it's set to none. So you can see it's quite an abrupt. It's either there or it's not. So it doesn't look the best. So if we just sort of apply the fade in, we'll now load that in. And as we scroll down, you can see we get a certain point and it now fades in and makes it much more smooth. The transition looks really, really good. Now we're not limited to just using the fade in. We also have the option for slide down and hide on scroll. So if we do the slide down, let that load in. You can see it now slides down onto the screen. And if we want to adjust the duration of that, we can just scroll down. You can see we've got the animation duration. So we can adjust that to fine tune to get the effect that we want. We can also apply or disable a box shadow, which will apply a shadow underneath our actual navigation, which is great for separating it off other parts of the site. So you can see as we scroll down where we've got the white over white, it puts the little shadow in there and just means we've got a nice little bit of separation there. And again, you've got things like blur, you can adjust the color on there. So you can control how this looks. You can even control the menu for mobiles and so on. So you can see it's incredibly easy to deal with. If you want to make any changes, you can simply come in and change any of the settings that you want. Once we're happy, we can click on publish and take a look at what this actually looks like on the front end of the site. So we're back onto our demo page and you can see everything is looking good at the moment. And all we need to do is scroll down and we'll get that nice sliding effect with a semi-transparent background, the different color logo, and so on. Very, very easy to deal with. And that's all there is to it. That's how simple and straightforward it is. Probably one of the easiest methods that I've come across to create transparent, sticky headers and navigation in any kind of theme. So well worth checking out. Speaking of checking this out, all the applicable links are in the description below. So if you do want to check it out, you only need to click on any of those. They are affiliate links, so it means a small percentage comes back to the channel if you decide to purchase. But if you do, it doesn't cost you a single penny more. Well, as always, I'd love to get your feedback on this. Have you tried this? How do you find the page builder framework? Is it a theme that you think you'd consider working with? If it is, let me know in that comment section below. Let's get our conversation started. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tudson. Until next time, take care.